Here we have an HP Pavilion DV6. Came out around 2011 as an AMD A8. It's in very good shape. And here it is running Windows 10 with the Radeon display driver, even though this particular chipset only had official drivers up to Windows 8.1. One of the most difficult things about actually getting to this point is finding the core drivers themselves. First, I tried to download uh, Adrenaline. It wasn't able to find any compatible drivers, so I ended up downloading Catalyst for Windows 8.1. So I just looked up the specific APU. Here we have an AMD A8 3500M with this integrated Radeon chip. And as you can see, it only goes up to Windows 8.1, and then your only other option is Linux. With Windows 8 and 7 both being completely out of support now, there really aren't a lot of options. What I ended up doing is I went to Windows 8.1 64-bit, and I downloaded the Catalyst software suite. Then I went into the properties, I ran it in compatibility mode for Windows 8, it installed without any issue. Mind you, this is for Windows 8.1. This is not Windows 10 software. When I let Catalyst try to install the drivers, it found them. Everything will install locally here. Then Catalyst will try to install these drivers and fail. This was the installation report that ran after Catalyst found the drivers and tried to install them. And if you notice the display driver and the audio driver both failed. If you're looking for these reports, after you run Catalyst, it'll be in 64-bit uh, program files, AMD, CIM, reports. So what we're looking for is the display driver and in WDM, the HDMI driver. Now the display driver that worked for me was this WB6A INF. So I will attempt to roll this driver back. Okay. And as you can see, now we're back on Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. The only reason I'm making this video is because this was such a noticeable difference in performance and hardware acceleration. Using the uh, basic Microsoft driver was such a letdown. So right now our APU temps are in the 50s. It's struggling really hard with this. 72060 is a little too much. Let's put it back in 480p. 480p is pushing it into the mid 60s. Let's jump back to 720. CPU is getting pretty hot. Looks like we're about to cross into the 70 degree range. Yep. Here we go. Temps are still rising. Still rising. Video playback is not very smooth. So I think we've seen enough of that. If you run Catalyst, it'll try to install these files. C, AMD, Catalyst, Packages, Drivers. So we want this one here. So now we'll just get this entire directory here. I'm going to copy it with Control C. Alt Tab back over to Device Manager. Browse manually. And Windows becomes convinced that it found a good driver. Excuse me for this camera going out of focus.
Here's that same video. It was barely running in 480p before, running in 720p, 60 frames. When it was running with the basic Microsoft driver, the CPU was hitting temps upward of 75 degrees or so. And now we're running at a smooth 720p 60, relative for these old specs at least. And we're in the 40s. I had good luck with this. And to anybody else that's looking to do something like that, I hope you do too. So if you want to install the HDMI drivers, it'll be in that same Catalyst folder, drivers, WDM, HDMI. And the one that worked for me was this one here, WB64A. This unknown device is some proprietary HP thing from the Windows 7 era, so I think that's kind of pointless. Now let's do the same thing here. We'll roll back the driver. Okay. So now we're just back to a regular generic. And then we'll just paste that directory in here. Install drivers the old way. And what do you know?